said, I think he said that him and Don Juan had, Don had got mad at him because of the, where it was a church or something. It was something that he had, he had said. You know, me and Bishop, you know, we had our little ups and downs. You know, one time I said something <laughs> sl slick in the magazine. I said, man, you know, I ain't with that church shit. And, oh, uh, damn. Nah, yeah, this is what, what, what he said. <laughs> like I said earlier, mm -hmm. my mother and father was preachers. Right. Church, C H U R C H. C -H. That's church. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk. Oh man, I, I want to get back to like like y'all early on. I remember Pippin Ken told stories about seeing Magic Dumb One when he was young and and having to you know <laughs> him being out of Milwaukee. Just just how did that whole thing you from your side? How did that even come to be? Okay, check this out. He came in. Now, Kenny under me now. Okay. I'm the church. He under my church manager. He's a great friend of mine. Well, he always, hey man, want to come to the play ball because we did pimps up holes down. And I got a lot of brothers in there. Okay. You know, and uh, I put that thing together. And uh, Kenny got a big check out of it. I think I got a big check and Bishop got a big check. But all the other brothers didn't get a dime. Didn't get a dime. So uh, when he came in, hey man, we want to meet Don Ma. We want to meet Don Bishop Don. I say, hold up, player. Now I'm gonna walk y'all in, but y'all got to pay me. Wow. So him and one of his friends today, him, Judge Divine, Big Lonnie. You probably know okay, Big Lonnie yeah, out of yeah, Atlanta. Yeah. I think they just he just he just got over two hundred million dollars out of some rap or something, but he doing good, Ooh, Big yeah. Lonnie. Yeah. That's my man. Big he Lonnie. was a uh, one guy who was real. Lonnie was real slick. And sharp, and bump your ball before you know it. He was real quiet. Big old, they thought he was a jab. <laughs> but Lonnie would bump your chick in two seconds. And so I invited them to the playoff ball, and I said, All you brothers have a seat. I'm going to get the bishop out. So we was on 87 at Mr. G's playoff thing. We had Bishop behind the, the wall, and they got a chance to meet Bishop, signing his books, buying his books and everything. I think that was the best thing that ever happened to the Milwaukee boys. Snooky and all of them, they was marshmallows when they come down to our game. His players right now, no, they couldn't step up to us. We well, number you know one what, still. Minister, well, Kenny actually came two or three years, man. I was like, hold up. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. came, he came in, hold he up. came in, but he still had to go through Bishop. That's right. When he came in, Kenny was good. What he did, he good. Right. Kenny was cold. But some oh, kind man. of way he fell off his horse and got out of sight. See, a lot of times people get out of get out of sight and fall on their horses. They can do good or do bad. But he, he stayed back and just did his thing. What he doing now? Put the guns down. What I do, put the guns down, stop the killing. What Kenny doing nothing. He doing some some good HHF, stuff. Uh, HHF, uh, 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 hip hop, hip -hop uh, fraternity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He yes, doing sir. a lot of great stuff for the community. Like I'm doing, put the guns down, yes, stop sir. the killing. He feeding a lot of people right now. He got a lot of rappers behind him. He doing a great job, man. Yes, I, you know, how I, did you meet? Sorry, but how did you meet Kenny Ivy? Kenny, um, was it that night? Well, when you introduced him to Don Juan? No, no he I, met, I met him. Uh, uh, so happen, when we do playoff balls, a lot of the newcomers, they stay in the back. See, my, I'm always got my eyes open looking for that dollar. <laughs> See, Bishop ain't gonna talk to none of them. He ain't gonna answer no phones. I said, man, why you got a phone? You'll never answer it. You can call him a hundred times. He don't answer the phone. So they can get through me. So I talked to them brothers. I said, okay, I'm gonna invite y'all out. Y'all can get a chance to talk to him. So man, that's where they came in. They started coming in and Snooky them, they came in there with all that. Girls got their head down. Which that's something we don't deal with in our game when guys mess with babies and stuff like that. We we don't know nothing about all that. Because the game, you got to respect the game in order to get respect. But when they start the guys start messing with little kids and not we don't know nothing about that and uh put a bad room on us because we don't live like that. You got to be old enough to come around this organization. If not, we're not letting you in. No, I get that, man. I, Ken said, I think he said that him and Don Juan had, Don had got mad at him because of the, it was a church or something. It was something that he had, 
Yeah, see, you know, me and Bishop, you know, we had our little ups and downs. You know, one time I said something <laughs> sl slick in the magazine. I said, man, you know, I ain't with that church shit. And, oh, uh, damn. Nah, nah, I, I, I was doing it because it was some shit that was going on. And, you know, I guess, you know, the niggas wanted me to pretty much be like, you know, like a soldier. But yeah. I, I was a leader, so I didn't want to, you know, I didn't want to follow their rules. But, you know, I said some crazy shit. Then Bishop said some crazy shit in the Sister and Sister magazine. So finally, if you go on YouTube, you see when he came to my house. Yeah. I invited him to my house, him and the porn star Pinky, the dude uh, Richie Rich. They all came to my, you know, my little baby mansion, Kenny Red. You know, so we sitting there. I got him food. I had a feast for him and shit. And then we got on there and said, yeah, man, you know, Hey man, you know, uh, I gave him like some money. I don't know, two hundred dollars or something. I said, yeah, man, I gave Bishop some money, man. I paid the church, man. I went to church, man. I fuck with the church, you know. And so the nigga's like, yeah, nigga, that's all you had to do, nigga. Don't, don't talk about the church, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, man, I love the church, you know what I'm saying? I love them niggas. Now the, his right hand man, Reverend Simo, became my partner. You know what I'm saying? He came to my daddy's funeral, and so it just we just all came. It was weird, man. How like. You know, it was confusing because, you know, me being Pippin Ken and being the loud mouth young dude and Bishop being the laid back player, you know what I'm saying? It was kind of, they thought it was conflict, but it really wasn't. You know what I'm saying? I love Bishop and Bishop and Seymour, they put me in the game. Yeah, this is what, what he said, man. <laughs> like I said earlier, mm -hmm. my mother and father was preachers. Right. Church, C H U R C H. C -H. That's church. Now, church. It's C H U U C H. I designed the name. I designed the word. I made the name up. What's the meaning of the word? The meaning of it is when a group of people get together. If you listen to the old J's, say family reunion. When a group of people get together, long as positive, and we're having a great time, a good time, no cussing, no fighting. That would mean church. That's what it means when a group of people get together and we agree on the same thing, that's called church, having a party, having church. And my grandmama used to say, y'all kids go in there and get ready for church. Mm -hmm. She didn't say church, she was old fashioned. Mm -hmm. Church, mm -hmm. that's where I got it from, church. Okay, so what did Kenny say? Kenny said, man, they playing with the, with the church, they playing with the Lord. No, we wasn't, because it wasn't, it, he it was, wasn't church. He would think it, it was church, church, but it's church. Mm -hmm. And I explained it to him. No, y'all, see, a lot of people don't know what, I guess they know what church means, and they didn't know what church means. Like I said, I have it patterned, and I know what it is because I created it. So it was something I created, and the majority of all the rappers shouted in their verses or what singing, mm -hmm. and, but Bishop Don, Magic One, and Snoop Dogg had elevated and took it to another level. Mm -hmm. and so that's what it is. Mm -hmm. Wow, that and that's and that's something else because when you think about just the way everybody used that word, mm -hmm. the way everybody used y'all terminologies, how did that, how did you guys feel when everybody started in the hip hop game carrying those cups? And they was carrying them cups mm -hmm. on every video acting as if they, they was pimping. It's like everywhere I look and everywhere I go, I'm hearing motherfuckers trying to steal my flow. No Cadillac, no perms, you can't see. Uh -huh. Then I'm a P.I.M.P. All y'all scruples, y'all got to go. We taking over this club tonight. See, that's the point. Debbie the Glass Lady, she created the glasses. She been around us about 12, 13 years. You know, out of 48 years, me and Bishop and... uh. We've been doing major things in, in all over the world, but they still had to come through him. The bling bling, all the jewelry you see, all the rappers talking about bling bling and jewelry and pretty cars, it came from him, man. It came from him. Yeah, because he, he exploded and let them know, hey man, for the hip hop thing, he the, the Dundetta. Mm -hmm. You know, he, he capped it off. Because man used to man this this man used to come down the street with his car. He had a, the big old Rolls Royce, big old white walls on it. He and, and that me is in my Rolls Royce with my nephew Candy Man. He made a way for a lot of brothers to ride slick. A lot of guys want to be Undertakers, man. We we wanted I wanted to be a superstar, but he was one of the number one pimps. You know I've seen a lot of pimps. 
In the game for the last 48 years I've known him. He's still, he's still dressing every day. Like I said, I don't care no man hat, but I'm just telling you him. Yeah. He wears a suit every day. Even now. He wears a suit every day and stay sharp and ride the slick green and gold every day. And got his jewelry on. And got his jewelry on. Bling, bling, hip hop for all the hip hop, the rappers that came through us. When uh, Too Short. Yeah, yeah, I mean, he, he came on it too. Too Short came to Chicago at night, like 83, 82. Uh, Scarface then. All yeah. Them. We remember all them boys, man. We remember all them boys. Rapping uh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, the, the list All goes them. On. We remember Papa when they Dude. came here. They Bill came. Scratch. They came oh. here under us. We didn't go to them. They came to us, man. That's my friend. They came through us. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.